So, hello. I guess we're live. So, I wasn't sh exactly sure if I wanted to stream today, but I decided I kind of want to get through the event stuff, which I do like to do as much of the Genshin Impact events as I can on stream. So, in the meanwhile, I'd been doing the Wishful Drops, the boss. Uh, every bit of resin that I've gotten since this event started has gone into this boss because the EXP book drops have been so good. So I'm going to continue that as long as this boss is available. Actually, let me see. It's just two days and 11 hours left. So I guess for the next two days or so, I'll be using all my resin on this as long as it's available. But in the meanwhile, I wanted to... Because... I think with today, yeah, we've explored five areas, all of them, and now it's the next step. So I'm just gonna go to that story and continue and see where it goes. I think I'm getting the permanent Endora after this, so that'll be nice. I'll have both pets that the game has given out. I wish, or oh, we'll see, I wonder if you can equip both of them at the same time. That'd be really neat. I was about to say I wish, but then I realized maybe they already do give... Uh, I already killed the uh, assistant mage there. So, yeah, I'll, I'll find out. Because I've seen some streamers do all, do this, but I haven't um, paid that close attention. Most renowned of the lock folk scouts, also the strongest. Oh, that was, a, that was a nice little bit of framing. I kind of like that with the uh, world geometry. Or it's not geometry per se. It actually looks like it's sprites 2D. But... Oh, hello, Naftiko. Don't think I've seen you around. Good evening. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Do you also play Genshin Impact? As you can see I'm doing this story quest right now. I'm all right. Decent work day. Just got off work and starting off the final chapter of this particular event quest. Streams and ponds all over the continent. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming by. Largely served as Fontaine's spies. Spies? Huh. No plan to speak of. She merely wished to connect everyone in the world. All water is connected. So I just realized... Um, hmm. Sorry about that, I'm having some... I just noticed something about my... stream. Why is that not... Sorry, so normally I, I'm gonna test something out on my stream, but... But I actually have an overlay on my stream to show chat, but for whatever reason that doesn't seem to be working. That's strange. Hmm. I wonder if Streamlabs is not properly connected. Let's see. Actually, I'm just going to try testing an alert box thing. Oh yeah, that didn't work. That's... Hmm. Okay, I guess... I... Oops, sorry, just a moment. I just got a phone call. That's what. Okay, sorry. It looks like that was a robocall.
All right. Well, I'm actually just going to get off. I should. Yeah, I'm going to get off stream for a moment and I'll be back in hopefully not too long. But I need to fix this. I thought I had it all set up properly and it usually has been, but somehow right now it's not working. So I do apologize for that, but I will be back. Okay, hello again. So I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not fix the issue. I really have no idea what's going on. My browser sources work all right, but it's specifically only the Streamlabs stuff that don't seem to be working. The odd thing is, of course, if I load the actual Streamlabs page on my browser, everything works fine. I can see the thing, but I'm not going to go in and uh, basically open all these overlays manually and then <laughs> add them into OBS. So today I will not be having an overlay or chat or chat overlay or notifications, unfortunately. So that's, yeah, I'll just have to try to fix that for another time. But anyway, let's continue this story. Seem sense my presence and believe me to be an assassin. Oh. Huh. Okay, so he made it all the way here from Fontaine, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's what Paymon's doing. Okay, let's go to Springvale. Actually, I'm also gonna check one thing. See if the... My Twitch points... Are working. Fate is called as such, for it cannot be changed, nor can it be reversed. It can only but be accepted. Yep. So Twitch points are working. I might have to. <laughs> I might consider setting up something to roll my own alerts. Chat box would be a lot more difficult. I don't think I could roll my own. Not within any reasonable time, anyway. But alerts, I could. But in any case, the chat. I'd like to just fix this. I just don't understand what's going on with the Streamlabs. With each small step a child takes, a journey through the world it makes. Drops of knowledge this creates, each one the child assimilates. Not a bad poem. Alright, yeah, I guess we have to go all the way back to Connor, who is the original source of this. Or maybe, actually, the, I guess the original source is the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> She's the one who, or Catherine, she's the one who pointed us towards Connor. So I wonder if we'll end up visiting her. But then again, Catherine tends to, I think, just give out stuff. You don't report back to her when you're done. You just report back to whoever you're helping. So let's just start by going to Connor and seeing if he's happy. I might try restarting my computer after the stream, see if that alleviates anything. I don't... It, it's so odd, though, because the browser source thing works. It's just Streamlabs specifically that doesn't work. But it works fine when I'm looking at this stuff in a browser. That's... Yeah, I'm usually pretty good about figuring out where something is wrong. But... And I can tell that... Well... My OBS is not having issues showing browser sources, and Streamlabs is not having issues showing the what it's supposed to show, but for whatever reason, when those two hook up, it's failing. 
I just really am puzzled why. Okay, yeah, so he's gonna inform the adventure skill. That makes sense. The person who asks for the help should be the one who confirms that it's done, not the person who's been asked to help. They're not... their incentives are not correctly aligned. Let me imitate and manifest in the form of animals. Okay. Wanted me to follow their paths, but surely they must have hated their lives in Fontaine still more. Yeah, want to switch with Paymon? <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Andorra seems a lot chiller than Paymon. I mean, we already have a Sealy. Alright, cool. So we got the Andorra and 60 Primo Gems. Nice. Gotta say, I admit 60 Primo Gems for a quest reward does seem rather stingy. I feel like... With the gacha game, when they're giving you an event reward, the bare minimum should be one pull. And I know the reason they have... The reason they don't have just one currency per pull is so that they can give you out less than one total pull per for a reward. But I think that makes sense for daily rewards and such, but I feel like for an event reward, be nice. Let's see, is there anything else in this event here that I missed? Okay, so just have that. And Endora's Education, we got everything. Let me just try equipping Endora, just see what it's like. Cool. Now I'm gonna go and do the Archon quest. Which I still haven't triggered yet. Because I've purposefully avoided Ganyu in front of the Adventurers Guild in Liyue. I've gone to just the Adventurers Guild in Monstat for the last couple days, so that I don't trigger the event. It's too bad I can't get any closer. Matamata, <laughs> <laughs> あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
총알바지로 시민교단의 병력을 유인한 후 가장 뛰어난 전문가가 유적에 진입해 보고 so how do how does Ganyu and how do they know so much about the treasure hoarder's plans? Maybe it's from Nimrod, who is a uh, one of our undercover agents from Monster, who is with the treasure hoarders. 전설적인 인물이지. 보물 사냥단에서 대보물 사냥가는 우리 모험가들 마음속에 대모험가와 맞먹는 인물이야. 너희도 티바트 유람가이드의 저자를 아니? 맞아. 대보물 사냥가도 그 정도로 추앙받고 있어. 그래서 이 일대 보물 사냥단의 남북쪽 거물들도 어떻게든 그를 초빙해 이 계획을 성사시키려는 거야. 요새 리월에 엄청난 변화가 생기는 바람에 총무부와 천암군은 소문만 무성한 보물 사냥의 작전까지 신경 쓸 정신이 없어. Okay, so are these just rumors or have they confirmed this information? 시면과 관련 있는 무언가가 위험하다고 느껴져서 모험가 길드에 의뢰들이 온 거랍니다. I too understand the dangers of the abyss. I think my brother joined them or something like that. 잘 됐네. 넌 믿음직한 길드 회원이잖아. 그럼 조심히 다녀와. 세부적인 건 길드에서 처리할게. All right. Let's start the next Archon quest. Go to the ruins. Which ruins are these? Oh, over here. So that's an air. So I know over here, I believe, is where there's some. Um, I'm gonna go here and maybe. I don't think I killed the animo thingies yet, so I'll go ahead and kill those on the way there. They give something like 200 mora? Maybe 600? They give a lot of mora. Uh, well, relatively speaking, anyway. Because obviously 200 or even 600 mora is not that much, but you're getting it for no resin. I guess you're kind of. It takes time, but. When you use Ganyu, it takes very little time. When it involves killing stuff, Ganyu does does it very quickly, usually. Let's see. I think I've collect... Um, is there any... Uh, I know there's more iron chunks. Ah, there's I see over there. I don't think it's worth slowing down to pick it up. Oh, huh. I didn't know there were bad guys here. See if Dilo can handle these slimes at all. See. So, can you use auto attacks this way? Yeah, do more damage than Dilo's <laughs> swings. I'm pretty sure these cryo slimes cannot drown. From what I can tell, the moment they hit the water, no matter what, they will freeze it. So there's absolutely no way to cause them to drown. Which is different from... I, at first... For some time I thought that cryo abyss mages couldn't drown either, but... I've definitely drowned them a few times. It's definitely doable. But, I guess maybe for them there's a bit of a delay before they freeze, so during that delay you can actually get them to submerge, and then the moment they submerge, they're dead. Because I don't think there are any, any enemy characters in this game that can swim at all. They all die the moment they touch the water. Well, except the uh, Hydro boss, I guess. Ocean Ed. That's the one. Exception, because... These guys are water. And also, maybe Hydro Slimes? I actually can't recall ever seeing a Hydro Slime... ...in water. Interestingly enough, most of the time you see slimes near or at water, I feel like it's ice. Yeah. Usually it tends to be at cold places, like waterfalls and stuff, which makes sense, obviously. But... Yeah, from what I can tell, they tend to be cryo rather than hydro, usually. Not that many hydro slimes, now that I think about it, it around the world. 
So there should I pick up uh do I have any rock ores here? I don't think I really need lotus heads for anything. But let's go to the ruins. I wonder if my D look is close to leveling up actually. I purposefully put him very close. Should only take a few more enemies and Ganyu can do all, all the heavy lifting on that. Ah, so this must be violet grass, I think. Yeah, I decided after I got Chi Chi, I'll when I'm walking around Leeway, I'll generally try to have Chi Chi around so that I can discover local uh, Leeway localities, local specialties, and I'll get a sense of where they are. I won't have to memorize every last one but there might be a few here and there that I can just keep track of and that way even once I remove Chi-Chi from my team I'll be able to pick those up okay so oh the runes are here oh there's a blue horned lizard let's pick it up all of the abyss wow this is a very low level this cryo, huh? Let's try not taking Ganyu. No, oh, let's try that. We got a cryo. A couple cryo, I think. No, we got a cryo, electro, pyro, and wind. Animo. Follow the treasure hoarders. Right? Anything interesting here? Doesn't look like there's anything I can destroy. Map's not very revealing. So what's this evidence that Paymon thinks she saw it anyway? Is Paymon some sort of incredible... Oh, I guess... Well, there is this, but I, I guess, yeah, generally these types of tents. Oh, maybe the sigil on the tent is treasure hoarder. I haven't re ever really tr paid that close attention to him, but I know there are tents like that around. Some of them, I think, belong to adventurers and others to treasure hoarders. Looks like we got some hilly trolls here. Alright, so with the raised crit rate, let's... Looks like these guys don't give you XP, unfortunately. It's not that unfortunate, I guess. Not missing out on that much. Okay, I guess this must be, yeah, this must be the treasure hoarder sigil. Oh, nice, it's the bubble game. Hmm. Right, so I'm gonna have to use this. Are there any alternate paths? No. no. Is there anything in here? A potato, sure. Can say no to a free potato. Okay. I don't want to just get hit by one of these bubbles just to see what happens. I should probably do that at some point. Oh, hello, Nat. Thank you for coming by. I'm doing all right. Hope you've had a good, good Tuesday. <clears throat> As you can see, I my chat overlay is not working. So, uh, yeah. Right now, the Streamlabs overlays don't seem to be working at all, but it's not too big a deal, I guess. It's not, uh, not used that much anyway. 
Yeah, potato and all other stuff. But yeah, as you can see, I'm doing this quest, which seems to have gotten a lot of inspiration from <laughs> the Windbloom event. Pretty easy, though. Oh. Oof. But yeah, that also means the emote stuff won't be ha uh, working either. I don't know what's going on with that. I have to try figuring it out tonight, maybe. Yeah, I just finished... Also, you can see I have my Oceanid pet. Just finished that. I'm planning on spending all my resin on that boss until the boss goes away, though, because the XP book drops are really good. Alright, this is what I've been waiting for. Some, some actual story content about the Abyss. Cutscenes. Who is that? Oh yeah, that is an upside down statue of the seven, isn't it? I remember after the trailer, some people noticed that. Oh, soccer match tonight. Nice. Oh yeah. That's good to hear. Did your team win, or maybe it was just a fun match? Uh, this guy, is he even alive? I'm a little worried. He hasn't moved an, even an inch. Yeah, no signs of breathing. Yeah, okay. I guess I was right. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah, I, I don't like the idea of seeing a dead body either. Okay, is there a boss fight maybe? Leave the ruins. Oh, okay. I guess that's the exit. So, uh, sadly that guy looks... I guess he really is dead. Let's see if I, if there's anything around here. Oh, does it damage you just to be around? No, I don't think I'm taking damage. Oh, I'm guessing if I... Yeah, that damages you. Oh, eliminated the reigning champion. Oh, nice. That's, that's really exciting. <laughs> oh, shit. It's more of these things. Uh oh. Oh! Okay. Even better. Now I have no way of going there. Am I just supposed to fall and it restarts, maybe? Yeah, that's always exciting. Beating the uh, reigning champions, right? Especially if they were supposed to be good again this year. That can obviously vary depending on the situation. Right, so. I gotta say, I don't mind that they put this in. This sort of obstacle course into the story quest, but I wish they had been a little more creative about it. Just, this is basically a palette swap of the Windbloom thing. And maybe if they added... Oh, shit. Now, if I wait, does that thing respawn, or... Do I have to just jump? <laughs> uh, I'll wait for a bit. Oh, you lost... Oh, so... Your team came in second last year, but this time you guys won. Nice. Or you guys at least beat the team that beat you. Nice. That's very satisfying. Right, so I guess I have to m make this in one run. That's how it seems. But that shouldn't be too bad, as long as I don't waste time exploring the side rooms. And just hop in there. And it looks like the chests don't particularly have... Oh, shit. That's unfortunate. I couldn't avoid that. It looks like the chests don't particularly have such amazing stuff. I wonder if getting caught by the bubble isn't completely fatal to the quest. 
Oof, just barely made that. That I... Yeah, if it... If I'm facing a wall of just three bubbles, maybe I could just... Get hit. And then... No. Oh! No. Oh, huh. I wonder if I had the Geo... Uh... Protagonist. Geo Traveler, then... Maybe I'd be able to use a geo thing to climb. So let me make sure I have some food in here. Just go switch the hash browns. Now obviously you can't climb in a domain. But I believe the geo structure you can climb even in domains. I know you can when you're using uh, Zhongli during the quest, during his story quest. So it's Doable. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Just got a little unlucky a few times, and I probably missed a chest or two, but again, I don't think these chests offer that such hugely important things. Oh yeah, and the teleport elevator. Oh, that looks like it might be a boss. And there's also... Um... Venti, right? Okay, I'm gonna wait until I can bring Beto back to life. I'm actually not sure when she died, but... Well, she's dead, and she's my main DPS in this party. Rosaria can hold out her own, I guess, but... I think her talents are not leveled up enough. Yeah, her talents need more leveling. And I haven't been farming the books... Uh, the talent books at all, because, again, I've been just spending all my resin on the Oceanid boss, on the event boss. Let's see, do I have Ballad. So I have enough to make eight of those, so I guess I could have upgraded one of Rosaria's talents. Okay, still got 30-something seconds. Yeah, can you? Yeah, I figured I could. So I, I, I didn't know there would be a boss battle or what, but I decided I'd. That Ganyu would make anything here just too easy, so I thought I'd try bringing a different team. And yeah, Beto, I've, I still really, really enjoy Beto a lot. And she's getting, she's getting up there, she's getting stronger. You know, she's level 80, 81 now. And I still need to get better artifacts on her and such, but she's been improving, so I'm excited to keep using her. Oh yeah, she was here earlier in the quest, that's true, yeah. Okay, so who's... Is this the thief? The grand thief? Not the other guy? No, he's Abyss Herald, okay. Ah, with Dainsliff. Yeah, the thief is the dead guy. Okay, yeah, that, I think that makes sense. Oh, so they have a history, Dainsliff. Alright, looks like... Alright, he doesn't have that much HP. Nope. Okay, so there's a bit of a delay before he starts his attack after that. I should try to keep that in mind. Get Bennett's Q up. Yeah, that, that should be fairly easy to time for a counter, I think. Ah, shit. That's not who I meant to switch to. So that's a three-head combo, it looks like. Hmm, no. Didn't quite get that. Hmm, no. I would like to counter... Okay, so there, that's fairly slow to come out. Should be possible to counter that. Let's see. Hmm, no, that's, that's a lot faster to come out. Countering that's gonna be a little harder. 
So there's a three-hit combo with the butt bit. Okay, that one... I had a chance to counter it. I should have gotten it. Yeah, the timing on that three-hit combo is fairly simple. Uh, with your stream... Uh, because... Yeah, it probably just took a few headshots with Ganyu to kill him, right? They did recommend ice, so... I imagine, yeah, Ganyu especially. Kinda kill her. Oof. Right, let's get... Oh, so he sends that out a lot like the... Fatui Debt Collector, now that I think about it. Because the Fatui Debt Collector has an attack where it looks like he's dashing forward, but it's actually just an image. It's, a, it's very convincing. They did a good job with it. Okay. Alright, I think I... Yeah, I managed... No, I didn't manage that counter. Okay, let's raise the crit rate. Okay, I, did I time? Oh, no. Oh, okay, yeah, looks like there's more than one phase. Ooh, coward. So, so I'm guessing he's... He knows my brother, and he realizes that, yeah, that we're related somehow. Alright. I wouldn't have minded if I had to manually leave it myself. It's not that big a deal. Also, if there was maybe an exquisite chest that I could use as a reward, that would be nice too. Ah, there's Dainzlo. He does have a nice voice in Korean too. Well, statue and the deceased thief, yep. あの、死面ごまっ Oh, cool. We get, we're gonna actually try to catch up to it and fight it, huh? Oh, you got her Huta auto attacks to 8? Nice, congrats. Is it the uh, weekly um, boss drops that were limiting you? I mean, obviously it takes a lot of Mora and uh, talent books, but those are fairly easy to come by if you want. Whereas the weekly boss drops, anyone who plays Genshin long enough knows how much of a hell that can be. Right now, personally, I'm Mora locked. Well, actually, I guess I'm not, because I bought the Battle Pass. I still have 600,000 Mora, something like that. So it's not, I'm not locked, but I'm not ready to spend a huge chunk of it all at once. Okay, so this. Okay, let's freeze this guy. And then do that. And got the water one. And then the ice. Raise the crit rate, and then use Beta to deal damage. Ah, Boss Child, I see. It's one of his drops. 49k damage with Xingqiu, wow. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> so yeah, if you ever get her C1, she's just gonna be even that much more of a monster, huh? Oh, 
그들은 유적 가디언의 자네에서 뭔가를 찾고 있었어. Abandoned ruin guards. 그렇구나. 여행자도 응. 자주 그러는데 혼돈의 장치나 혼돈의 장치 yeah, yeah. 찾잖아. Yeah, I need those to upgrade. Um, I don't remember who, but I needed those. A lot of those. 그 유적인 시도 때도 없이 시면 메이지가 탐색을 나와. 그래서 나도 그 근처를 조사했던 거고. 그들은 유적 가디언의 전해에서 특유의 진귀한 물질을 찾아가려는 것 같아. 근데 실망한 모습을 보니 아직. 근데 왜 놈들을 잡아서 신문하지 않는 거야? Yeah, also, I remember Lisa, I think, tortured an abyss mage with electricity. That was pretty... That was pretty amusing. I'd enjoy that. I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire abyss order. They're EN auto-attack at level 10 could do almost 60k, wow. Yeah, and if you had the staff of Homa, just get her down to 1 HP. Get her up to uh, Constellation 6, right? That way I think she can't die or something, or any killing blow leaves her with 1 HP. So, yeah. That that would be some really big PP damage you could do. You could probably hit... Yeah. In terms of DPS numbers, just... I don't know. Enormous numbers. It's a bit. I fear something else. Huh? <laughs> so this. Oh, I heard that one way you can tell the ruin guards that are f enemies versus ones that are just part of the world is by using the. Elemental site, and yeah, the ones that are fightable glow with a co with a color, which is the case for any other enemy that you can fight. So maybe we'll get to learn more about these uh, ruin guards, because there are some around the world that are just part of the geometry rather than fightable, whereas other ones are fightable, right? Like in the, um, the Guyan Stone Forest area, where there are four Ruin Guards that all aggro at once, there are a bunch of more Ruin Guards nearby there. Ooh, this should be fun. Okay, let's raise the crit rate. And do that for some crowd control. Oh no, what's going on? Let's get some healing. Oh. The, the Mega Whale, which did 100k damage, it's not that hard with C6, R5 stuff. Yeah, right. You just need money, and you can do lots of big PP damage. And you also have to be good enough to play the game at 1 HP. But eh, that part's not that hard, right? Especially if you have Zhongli. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't like... This? Okay, let's look at the ground. Oh, right! Their bombs can't travel through the... Their missiles can't travel through the ceiling. Don't get punked by the mooks? I'm trying, I'm trying. Let's see... Here. Oh, what? <laughs> what, what just hit me? What just hit Venti? Okay, there we go. Oh. There's those. Get more healing. Come on, got his burst up. Yep, got healing. We're just about done here. 
Which one would I have C6 if I could? Hmm. Among the characters that I have, I don't know that much about the C6 of most characters, but I think I'd, I'd really enjoy having C6 Ganyu. Because I heard that C6 lowers the charge time of her charge shot pretty significantly. And if that that would just make her, you know, even big a bigger monster than she is, right? But let's see, besides that... Hmm... Guess? I don't think Kaching C6 would be all that great. I don't know much about Mona C6. Chi Chi C6. Ah, Chi Chi C6 I know can do a full party revive. That would be really nice. Kind of like how I think Barbara C6 can do a single revive. The free charge shot with Ganyu? Yeah. I mean, considering the fact that even at C0, her charge shots are crazy strong. The, the fact that you can do them that much more quickly seems really good. Yeah, how about you guys? If, um, yeah, I imagine, like, Zhongli would be a good C6 candidate, turn him into a major healer. C6 Hu Tao, like I said earlier, it saves you, it basically gives you guts, right? Which is super nice. Huh. Ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Kenria. I wonder, is that the place where... Kenria? I wonder if that's the place where Kea is from. Is it a different nation? Well, 500 years ago. It's pretty old, but we have older people. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I have memories of Kenya? Oh, what is this? Is this like a Final Fantasy X kind of thing where I traveled 500 years in the future? Spoilers for Final Fantasy X, by the way. Hmm. I don't know what this whole Kenria thing is about, actually. I don't remember this being part of her backstory. But... Let's see. I don't know. Sea of Flames. That's a good point. Yeah, her brother woke up first and he eventually joined the Abyss Order. D6 is stronger than that. Uta's HP drops below 25% or suffers a lethal strike. Will not fall as a result of damage sustained. All of her elemental and physical resistance by 200%. Critical rate is increased by 100%. Okay, so guaranteed crit for 10 seconds. Wow, yeah, that's super strong. So it's a guts plus buffs. And it, you don't have to die you, you, it, as long as you have it below 25%. Okay, yeah. So that obviously goes super well with her playstyle and with the staff of Oma. <laughs> yeah, without a shield and zero percent. Yeah, that right. As long as you keep your character, well, so I guess it can only happen every sixty seconds, and you get a ten second buff. So you have a fifty second cooldown. Which is pretty long, but it's basically one out of six, or basically sixteen percent of the time you're on the field, you can, or maybe not, not even sixty percent, sixteen percent of the time you're on the field, but sixteen percent of the time total, as long as you use it efficiently, you have a hundred percent crit rate on Hutao. 
네가 이 세계에서 처음 깨어난 것도 그 시기인 것 같군. Oh, best twelve, right? Yeah, the DPS ability of that Hute would be. Yeah, would just eat eat right through all that HP of those guys. 그후 너인 곧바로 길을 막는 낯선 신령을 만나게 된 거고 도망치지 못한 거지. Oh, okay. So the cutscene at the very, very beginning of the game, where we fought this woman, was must have been uh, after we woke up. Huh. 알겠군. 그때는 막 깨어나서 황급히 이 세계를 떠나려고 했어. 켄니아라는 지명의 배경은 전혀 모르는 채 말이야. 하지만 이제 어느 정도 티바트에 대해 알게 됐고. 그제야 그때 겪었던 전쟁이 켄니아 멸망의 전투라는 걸 알게 된 거지. 마... 아, 그러고 보니 우리가 함께 여행한 이몇 개월 동안 넌 고대 서적을 조사했었어. 몬드에 가기 전엔 애매한 자료뿐이었지만 몬드와 리올에서는 고대 서적들을 수집했고 그때마다 넌 별로 쓸모가 없다고 했었지. 사실 켄니아에 관해 알고 싶어서 그랬던 거구나. 오빠를 찾기 위해서이기도 하고. Huh. Okay, I don't... They didn't really do a whole lot of this. Oh, you bond 10 child? Congrats! Uh, I I'll have to check out what that looks like. Kenya是一个国家的国家。Kenya是一个国家的国家。Kenya是一个国家的国家。Kenya是一个国家的国家。Kenya是一个国家的国家。Kenya是一个国家的国家。Kenya是一个国家的国家。Kenya是一个国家
room with uh, where uh, what is it? Guraco puts Liz after she got her bantan. Ah, Yeah. yeah, for me on Genshin Impact, I yeah, I just don't care about friendship, I guess. Like in FGO, I feel like it's fairly easy to re uh, rejigger teams so that you have you try to maximize bond. Genshin, it's a little more difficult because you have fewer slots and no backline characters, right? And also just the fact that each character is so distinct from one another means that it's harder. It's not impossible, but it's harder to substitute and switch characters in and out after uh, based on their bond level instead of just how good, how useful they are. That said, of course, there are um, swappable characters. I feel like yeah, like I don't know, Bennett is... Well, to be honest, Bennett can be swapped with almost anyone, but I feel like I use Diona, Bennett, and Barbara almost interchangeably because, for me, I just use them as healers and it's really based on what element I want. Even though Diona has a, has a shield that I should make better use of. And, of course, Bennett has a, an attack buff along with his heal that I also should make better use of. Uh, to be fair, I do make decent use of the attack buff. But, well, I guess also, to be fair, when I use Ganyu, I barely need an attack buff. To be honest, the... The, um, the limitation of having to stand in that circle doesn't seem like it's worth the attack buff when I use Ganyu, because Ganyu is just so damn powerful, even without that extra attack buff. Oh yeah, your Chi-Chi's friendship 10, and yeah, she's just too good to get swapped out. Yeah, actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I should, um, I, I'll probably m start using Chi-Chi more, because, yeah, she's my newest healer. And my Bennett's Bond 10, my Barbara's Bond 10, and Diona isn't, but... Well, like I said, I don't really care much about the Bond. Not enough to do it anyway, but... I guess it'll be fun to learn a bit more about how to play with Chi-Chi. Ah, good point, Dainsleuf. They were never called Ruin Guards. They never guarded ruins. Field tillers. So were they farming equipment, maybe? Yeah, they were farming equipment. There we go. Oh, it's a code name. Ainsleaf really seems to know quite a lot. Curious. Also, I just noticed too that his hair is actually not that dissimilar from the the travelers. The way his bangs and such surround his face, frame his face, reminds me a lot of, well, the traveler Lumine. Fought for with steel and blood. Yeah. Zero C six. Active party members within the AOE are protected by a shield. Created by Crystallize. Oh, 17%. That's a nice buff. Yeah, yeah nothing groundbreaking, but extra 17% is pretty nice. Actually, 17% is more than what they usually give you, isn't it? Isn't it usually a 15% resistance down debuff or something like that? I, I feel like often C6 offers like a 15% buff. Yeah, 
bonus is stronger. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. So that, yeah, like I said, nothing groundbreaking, but quite nice. 17% is big. Big buff. Yeah. Alright. I, I like Dane's lift style. I can respect that. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have water. But let's use Venti to take care of some of this. Ah, I let go of that way too early. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, Ruin Guard. Shit. Um. <laughs> wow, it's really hard to tell quite what's going on with all the structures around, but. Oh, shit. It's bad. Right. Yeah, it would... If you had the buff, you could do even more with it. Yeah. Because right. it's a flat 17% buff, right? It's... It's not contingent on any element or anything like that, which is super nice. Okay. Can I get his burst up? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's one reason why I feel like maybe... Like, Thundering... F or what is it? Thunder Soother instead of Thundering Fury might work because... 4-piece Thunder Soother offers, I think, a 35% straight-up attack buff against any enemy that has electricity on them. So that affects every single type of attack. Oh yeah, Mihoya's next announcement will be this week? Interesting, okay. That'll be good to know. I heard some leaks, or... No, not leaks. An interview that was in Chinese that I saw some unofficial translations where they were talking about various things, but I think the most interesting thing was they wanted to improve the account security. Now, sadly, it sounded like it'll take a while that they were going to test things out over May and June and maybe even July uh, before they implement it, so that's still quite a few months away, but that's good. Also, cleaning up some UI in the alchemy so that you can see exactly how many of the items that you're crafting you have versus the items that you're using to craft you have which i mean i think both information is important i don't understand why they excluded the former one to begin with i'm looking forward to those it's gonna be so funny maybe like two three four years from now if this game's still around if we look back at old streams, seeing all these much worse UIs and various other issues that the game has. Not that it has many big issues. Certainly nothing like what FGO had in its first month, first six months or a year. But there's certainly a lot of room for improvement. And one very nice thing is Mihoyo seems to be very willing to improve. So I know these abyss symbols are English, or like they're modified alpha English alphabet. Can't really make out what it says though. It might be mirrored or upside down or something. Loom of fate. Hmm, that's kind of makes me think of Greek mythology. What are they? They're the Fates. Yeah, they're called the Fates. They're and they, even though they're not as powerful as the most powerful gods, they still have power—not power, but they know fates. 
and they can look at the string of fate that people have, I find, which obviously works with this loom metaphor. Osal, 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 Overlord of the Vortex. Never heard of him. Oh, maybe I did hear of him. Maybe it's been a while though. Oh, it was that dude, the one who we destroyed. Or we didn't destroy it, I guess, but we... Stopped it. Stop the ball.的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的王子。的
Which means I just need 60 more before I have a guaranteed C1. But I'm thinking if Zhongli is on the next banner, I'll be spending at least, well, however many it takes to get a 5 star. Which is up to, uh, for my pity, I think uh, that means I have something like 85 pulls, which m would bring me back down to a little over 200. Uh, learn a lot about him soon? Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't want Zhongli? Yeah, I heard um, Mihoya really screwed him over. He's like a full DPS, right? He's just a support. And he's just all about a shield. Like, who cares about shields in this game anyway, right? Shields are pointless. <laughs> You have 85 rolls sa saved. Uh, uh, yeah. If you have 85 rolls saved here, you should easily have at least 95 before the end of the Eula banner. Even if Eula were the next banner, you'd definitely... Yeah. So you'll have a guaranteed 5 star at least. Yeah, Zhongli is, I guess, for me... One of those exceptions where even though I don't pull for husbandos, he's such a damn good character that I can't, I do want to get him. And it'll be fun to have basically the best shielder in the game as my first shielder. <laughs> but I will say if they announce Zhongli and then they say Jean's banner is next, then Zhongli is going to have to wait. <laughs> I'd rather get an, an extra copy of Jean than uh, one copy of Zhongli. It's all about the waifus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he would be popular among the sisters. Rosaria, well, I don't know what her type is, but I could see her going for him. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so he's a non-believer. Alright. Alright, so he's a non-believer. Alright. Hmm. I see, so yeah, we don't want to let too many people go. But you think... You think Rosaria's type is Venti or Dane's Love's type is Venti? I could see both, to be honest. I mean, Dane's Love would definitely be the top and Venti would be the bottom, right? Maybe I could see it going the other way too. Venti is kind of a sneaky bastard. He could be, he could be the top. But Rosaria and Venti—that's kind of a strange. Ship. I could. It'll be kind of funny hearing Rosaria scream, "Oh God! Oh God!" What with Venti, without knowing that it's Venti. <laughs> uh. Imagine him with someone like Ben. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, opposites sometimes attract, right? It's like, I don't think Dane's left wouldn't Dane's left wouldn't be a bear per se, but he's kind of a manly man, right? Whereas Venti's definitely in the twink category, or at least closer to the twink part of the spectrum. So, I, you know, like I said, I think Dane's left would be the top, and Venti would be the bottom. Oh, look at Barbara. She's so cute. Oh. Yeah, we can always use more waifus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just noticed that the ocean pet also sleeps. That's cute. Oh, 
personally, I also like Barbara and Rosaria as a ship. I think that's good. It's a good ship. Holy <laughs> <laughs> liar. Yeah, I don't think she would know anything about it just by... <laughs> I lost it. How would you lose one of those? Oh, there's an old story about that? Hmm. No four-star husband? Huh. Only now that you mention it. Yeah, you're right. Well, what are the new four stars that were released after the game came out, right? There's obviously Rosaria. I think Jinyan was one of them. Was there another... Uh, Liyue char character, I think? But yeah, let's see, we got... Oh, that disappeared one night without a trace. But in terms of four star... Husbandos, Bennett, he's an OG. Jing Chu is an OG. Oh, Diona was new, and Yanfei soon. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and. Yeah, there aren't that many. Four star male characters I can think of, to be honest. Uh, Chong Yun's an OG. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. They, they know that most of the fans, even the women, to be honest, mainly go for the waifus more so than the husbandos. That said, there has been a good share of five-star husbandos. In fact, I think more than half the banners might have been five-star male. Tyrant's Final Fury. Venti, Zhongli, Child, Zhao, Albedo. Right, and we've already had rerun of Venti and Child, who are both males, right? And those are the only two five stars who have had reruns so the yeah the only basically yeah all we've had a good number of five star husbandos and only the, uh, five star husbandos have had reruns yeah clay hutao ganyu right oh yeah it's only those three huh Oh yeah, and Kaching's banner, right? That too. Non-limited, but yep. I guess in the main... Among the main five five stars, oh, there's only one male, right? There's um, Diluc. Everyone else is female. Oh. Out of storms would shoot fireballs, fair enough. Hmm. So I guess they never quite figured it out. <laughs> I never get tired of looking at Rosaria. Those fishnets, I, they're just so nice. 
그 마물들이요? 그래, 풍마룡 사건을 틈타 몬드성을 공격하려던 그 몬스터들 말이야. Yeah, I will say, yeah, Mihoyo's done a great job with balancing male and female in general. I don't know which, which there are more characters of, but certainly they've released a lot of new 5-star males, a lot of new 4-star females, and they all are generally well-designed so that they appeal to both men and women. Yeah, I love seeing Rosaria in cutscenes too because she looks so sad in regular. Like her face looks really sad by default, and it always looks sad. But during cutscenes, she actually emotes a little. Nado pimilie umzigege kun. Tado kalleo. 넌 성당에 남아서 성직자로서 할 일을 하라고 진 단장 본부야. 하지만 그건 로자리아 수녀님도 마찬가지잖아요. 맞아. 우리도 가서 진 단장을 도울게. 알겠어요. 명예 교사님이 돕는다면 그래도 부디 조심하세요. 바람 신께서 모두를 지켜주시길. So I've never been able to figure out because. I noticed only a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, that Barbara has male symbol all over her dress. Well, not all over her dress, but at a bunch of places around her dress that are buttons. And I don't know why they decided to go with the male symbol for that. I guess there's three of them down the, down the front of her dress. It just seems a little odd. Or I guess it's not quite the male symbol, it's almost like a combination of the two, male and female, because the female symbol involves a circle with a cross attached to it, whereas the male symbol is a circle with the arrow pointing out of it. This one is a sort of a circle with a cross that has an arrow at the end. So maybe there's something that Barbara is hiding underneath her dress. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe it's a trap. Venti might not be the only trap in this game. After all, have you ever seen the inside of, under Barbara's dress? It's hard. You can't really get underneath it. Ulpuyongjisukuradanukozi. <laughs> Also, it occurred to me, it would be nice if in Wolvendom there were actually wild wolves around. Like, we have wild boars, but wild wolves are not a thing in this game. It's just odd that they have an entire section of the map called Wolvendom, where there's supposed to be wolves, theoretically. But there are no wolves other than the one. And I guess they're wolf fuck berries, but those aren't wolves. Oh yeah, I guess it could be the Favonius church symbol. Yeah, I haven't paid that close attention to like the symbolism in the game and such, so it's possible. <laughs> Check under Barbara's dress and not only <laughs> yep. not only under her dress. Ooh, I wonder if there's any fan art that shows... Ah, I've only ever managed to counter that once. I, I still can't figure out the timing on that. I've attempted it so many times, but only once have I ever actually countered the explosive barrel, which I've triggered. I don't know if it was a fluke or what, but... Yeah, haven't been able to do it again. And <laughs> Barbara. Alright, alright, slow down there. I think, uh, you know, we can talk about collecting waifus, but, you know, when it comes down to it, you gotta, you gotta stick with one, right? But, uh, it's only one waifu's skirt you get to go under. But, I'd, 
I was gonna say, I think it'll be nice to see some fan art that shows um, Barbara and Rosaria costume swap. Because I think Barbara in Rosaria's outfit would be pretty neat, and Rosaria in Barbara's outfit would be pretty amusing. Uh, yeah, shouldn't have used that attack. Let's get rid of the Abyss Mage first. Okay, I guess taking care of the Abyss Mage was all it took. Oh yeah, until Eula. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully that'll be soon. It'll be exciting if Eula was next, actually. In contrast to all the leaks and rumors that say Zhongli is next. I just hope she's soon. I mean, fair enough, but didn't we go here with Dainsliff earlier? Or maybe it wasn't here, but it was Storm Terror's lair. Maybe it was both? Yeah, you'd be in big trouble if Yulo is next. Yeah, I guess that's true. But hey, you know... RNG be RNG, you might just get her in one pull, right? Oh, she's a 1.5 character? Okay. Yeah, that makes- yeah, that, that, that works out. So that would mean next- within an, within six weeks, right? Assuming we do another set of three- three-week banners. Because we're in 1.4, right? Yeah. Yeah, only two weeks. So if Eula's first, that's two weeks, and if Eula's second, that's five weeks. Which is a decent time to wait, but not too bad. Kenya <laughs> Okay. Huh, how does Dainsliff know that? Is it some, some sort of revenge? Alright, in five weeks, 70 rolls? Yeah. Well, let's see, you collect just by default from the Welkin Moon and the Daily is almost a full pull every single day, right? So five weeks is 35 days, so that's basically 35 rolls. A little fewer, but then you get a bunch of rolls for events and stuff. So, yeah, I think 70 would be doable. Oh, hey, there's Jean. Oh, the, from the shop, right, yeah, yeah, and from the abyss, yep. Yeah, those definitely offer more, and then, yeah, of course, there's the events, VP, oh, yep. <laughs> Jean looks like she's uh, she wants to slap Paymon. She's like, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> but that's not her reaction. <laughs> I kind of want to check this cutscene out in Japanese so I can listen to Chiwa Saito. Man, it's gonna be such a shame when Chiwa Saito retires. She's not much older than me, but she's a little older than me, which means she probably got at least another 20-30 years that she could work if she chose to. 
But her voice will also change as she grows older, that's for sure. At the same time, she'll be... she has a lot of skill and talent. So she should be able to keep pulling off good voices. Just be different. Yeah. <laughs> Jin deserves head pats. Yes, very, very, um... Aggressive head pats. Okay, so basically you use two per day as a, um... It's just an easy estimate. But yeah, that makes sense, I think. Kinda like how in FGO we tend to estimate it as about... What, 100 Saint Quartz per month, right? Usually a little less or a little more, but... It's in that range. 100 Saint Quartz per month. Look for the Great Wolf King of the North. Yeah, this is an area that I really would enjoy if it had more wolf. If it had any wolves other than the one wolf boss. You, yeah, if you could hunt them. Oh, and what if you, the more wolves you kill, the more difficult the wolf boss becomes. Somewhat like the boar boss, except with an actual mechanic. Because the boar boss, you have to actually kill. I think three frozen boars, maybe four, in the arena before the boar boss appears. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, there's Razor. There's the wolf. Who seems to be tied down. And the Abyss Herald. Is this another boss fight? The Razor looks pretty cool there. I like his eyes. Oh, he's there to negotiate. That said, starting off by insulting the person is probably not the best. Alright, so I did enjoy the first fight, or yeah, the round one. So, oh, and there's these guys too. Okay. I don't think I timed that counter, but I definitely got the counter. Oh yeah, I timed that one. Oh, right, he dash- that's not an actual dash attack, he shoots forward a- an image of himself. I need to keep that in mind. Oh, didn't mean to use her. E. Nice. Oh, it's raining! Sweet! That's good. Oh, shit. Alright, countered that. Not with timing, but just with blocks. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, he's got a shield now. Okay. Oh. Alright, so this is another phase of the fight, it looks like. But he is wet. It does, can he get- can I freeze him? Doesn't- maybe. Maybe if I didn't miss, yeah, I can freeze him. Huh. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, you still haven't touched Razor since, uh, well, since a while ago. You still- you have Wolf's Gravestone, right? I think you pulled Wolf's Gravestone very early on. So, you have a very nice weapon for him. Hmm. I wonder what my next 5-star weapon will be, assuming I ever get another one. I hope I get another one at some point. That'd be nice. Yeah, if it turns out to be, like, the best weapon for Beto, that'd be nice. Like, I imagine Wolf's Gravestone 
is up there as one of the best weapons, if not the best one for her, because it is a very powerful 5-star weapon. I guess at Wolf's Gravestone, I might actually use that on... If I were to get it, of course. I might use that on... Look, now that I think about it, it would match his visual style very well, definitely. And, and of course, he is a main DPS, that's his main role, and that would do very well. Yeah, with Ganyu, it's too easy. Yeah, I can imagine that. Oh, will be Eula's weapon. Okay, oh, right, because she uses a claymore. Oh, I hope I get Eula if, well, assuming she. It comes soon. It'd be nice to get another Claymore user. Even though I don't have a lot of Claymores, I've been learning to enjoy Claymore users a bit more now. Especially now that I have the look who is... Learning to use him is a lot of fun. He's still way under leveled, so he's not really doing a whole lot for me, but... But I didn't know that... Deluxe E skill... was... you could use it up to three times. And it basically allows you to break up his combos with a quick hit. So, I imagine you can use it to cancel animations and manipulate DPS, get it up very high. That seems like it'll be fun to try to learn. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. We can't smell smell danger or fear. Yeah, has the claymore of Favonius. Yeah. Yeah, right. I don't have a lot of claymores, that's the thing. Hmm. Alright, that might be a ruin guard, or a ruin hunter, or a ruin grader. I would enjoy seeing a fight between Boreas and a ruin grader. That could be fun. Oh yeah, had the same problem with all your lancers, right? Yep. For me, my problem with Rosario with the lance was that I just didn't have any lances built up because I didn't use Zhang Ling, and Zhang Ling was my only polearm user. Yeah, of course, the first prototype is always more powerful than the mass-produced ones, right? Even though you would think that after the prototype, they would make it better and improve it, and in order to make the mass-produced ones. But, there's also the idea that there's something special about that first one, right? That they couldn't take certain qualities of the first one and replicate it. So when you mass-produce it, you end up degrading it somehow. Oh, this fight would have been fun if Razor helped you out. Could you imagine if this fight was like twice as hard, but you had a Razor there who would just help you out along the way? That'd be nice.
Oh, you can also start his trial right now if you want. But I don't have the resin for that. And even if I did, the resin would go all go into the ocean it boss anyway. You have Noel and Beto as new Claymore users. Yeah, right. You said you you were using the BP Claymore on Beto. I I saw a video recently that uh, it wasn't a video about Beto or anything, but it mentioned among many other things that Beto's image has the black black cliff sword or whatever the claim the BP Claymore. Which I mean, that's what you said a couple days ago. So. I was like, oh yeah, I, I was told that earlier, and that makes sense. It is her sword. It's so cool that she gets her actual in-game icon actually has a specific in-game sword. So, of course you'd want to use it on her. Oh, that's a nice shot. Yeah, just from that story? How does- how can he put all this together? Ah, yeah, let's correct him. 그러니까 폭군의 원한은 사실 울프 형제에서 도망친 그 기계가 자 늑대의 실현에서 망가진 뒤로 방황하다가 옛 몬드의 폐허의 자리를 잡은 거지. 그리고 사람이 다가가면 탕탕탕. Well, I do know that there are some. 결국 완전히 망가져서 하늘에서 내리던 불덩이도 사라지게 된 거야. So there are ruined guards in Mondstadt, or in and around Mondstadt. Well, not in the city, but. In the country. But I can't think of anyone that's completely deactivated. You abandoned the Anima dungeon and the Geo dungeon for Noel. Oh yeah, you're looking for a Petra piece for Noel, I'm guessing? As well as Albedo and Zhongli. Yeah, after three weeks of not getting the um, the piece you need for... Jean, decided... Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's what... Yeah, I figure as I get back to farming artifacts, I'll probably keep mix mixing things up so that I don't get too bored of any one domain but i'll probably focus on one at a time like i think the next artifact domain that i'll be farming heavily is the bloodstained one for kaching and and um rosaria as well as possibly beto if i get the right pieces i might want to give bloodstained on beto Yeah, you do not need the Maiden Artifact, I see. And you don't want to farm from Sucrose, yep. Yeah, and you have plenty of Geo characters who could use the Petra. Right now, I don't need Geo so much, but... Of course, if and when I get Zhongli, it'll be nice, and it'll be nice for my... current Dingguang. As well as Noel. Chivalry and Electro for Beto? Yeah, so that's one thing I'm thinking. Either it would it would probably be shiv two out of Chivalry, Electro, or Gladiators. You know, if if I do double Chivalry, double Gladiators, that's probably not so great because that's all in on physical. But actually, it might be better to go double Chivalry and double Gladiator, or double Electro and double Gladiator. Chivalry and Electro is kind of splitting things, but then again, that all still works. It, it can still work alright. Yeah, you're going full Electro, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking I don't want to bother with the four-piece set for Beto. But yeah, I, I figure, like I said, doing a two-piece of Chivalry... Electro or Gladiator. Choosing two out of those three, I think, would work for me. 
방법이 잘못됐어 경작기에 원소 시야를 사용하는 건 불가능해 그건 원소 에너지로 움직이는 게 아니거든 내가 한번 해보지 okay. 됐어 Oh, nice. He pulled the core out. 시면 사도가 줄곧 찾아 헤맨 최초 경작기의 눈이지. Oh, wow. We got it. 유전 가디언은 모두 이 기계의 복제품이야. 프로토타입으로서 그 전. Oh, so that's why the prototypes more strong. They often use that as an excuse. 되게 어려운 단어네. 테미야 말이야. 맞아. 시면 교단의 생각대로 만약 이 눈을 뒤집힌 불결의 신상의 손에 올린다면. 이를 토대로 소용돌이의 마신 오셀의 신체를 연결해 마신 기계가 만들어질 테고 새로 태어날 마신에게 셀레스티아의 신자를 뒤흔들 힘이 부여된다고 해 맞아 그, 그럼 이 눈은 어떻게 처리하지? I don't think I trust the Church of Favonius enough to protect it 아니, 내가 갖고 있을게 음 I'm a little starting to grow a little suspicious of Dane's lift too. Yeah, he's so helpful, and he knows so much. But what are his motivations? Oh yeah, you'd like Yanfei? Yeah, she's the. What she uses the um, the book, right? She's a catalyst user. Yeah, I wonder when they'll release her, if she's also 1.5. Maybe she'll be on the banner with Zhongli and then they'll do Yula. I feel like they might do it again where they put the new 4-star onto a banner with the less desired 5-star. Not that Zhongli is bad, but he's just a rerun. So he's just going to be by default less desired than Yula, who's brand new. 그리고 후환을 막기 위해서 뒤집힌 불결의 신상도 처리하도록 하지. 성당은 개입시키지 말고 우리끼리 처리하자고. Oh yeah, since Ning. Yeah, I don't really play with, with catalyst users either, other than Barbara and Ning. And Ning Guang is only there for breaking rocks, and obviously Barbara is only there for healing. So an offensive catalyst user would be interesting. Like, I definitely do a few pulls for Claire when she gets a rerun. I don't think I'll pull hard for her though because she's not waifu. It would be nice to have Claire and Jean in the same account though. That would be super cute. Oh yeah, and you could also farm Geo Artifact. Yep. Hmm. It'd be cool if we got to see Dane's love fight. I don't think we've actually ever seen him fight. Let's see. Where was the... Ah, it was here. Yep. Yeah, I think that the domain that I teleported to is the Bloodstained domain. I still don't have a great sense of which domain is which quite yet. Except the Viridescent one, which is right next to a bunch of rocks. Also, I kind of want to figure out, I'm curious. Does Rosaria, do Rosaria's fishnets... Like, are they sheer, or or are they just fishnets? Because it almost looks like there's a layer along with the fishnet, rather than her skin. Because people's skin, or at least her skin, doesn't look that red. Right? So it looks like there's another layer. Or is it just a video game effect, because they couldn't bother doing it properly? Because if you actually wanted to model the fishnets properly, you wouldn't just make it a texture, you'd actually model the individual strings so that they bump out, up and out from her skin. Or actually, even better, 
they would make it like how they do thigh highs. Uh, maybe Amber has it? Does Amber have the... Yeah. With Amber, you can see how the thigh highs actually squeeze down on her thigh. So that there's a little bit of um, an indentation right where the thigh highs end and her absolute territory begins. Not much. It's kind of small, but it's there. They could have done that with each and every little uh, fishnet line on her fishnet stockings, but they didn't do that. So, yeah, I don't know if it's just um, the fact that it's a video game making it so that it's you can't quite tell, or if it's meant to be another layer. Ember is... Ember? Yeah, she's not bad. She's not bad at all, actually. Yeah, I never really noticed. Ooh, when she does that, you can certainly tell she's thick. Uh, yeah, once you get Eula, right, it'll be Ayaka as the next target, right? Absolutely. Let's see. Oh yeah, and she also has thigh highs, although she also wears garters, so it's less of an issue, because with garters, you don't need it to squeeze as much, because it's being held up. But you can kind of see a bit of the indentation there, too. And I think those two are the only characters that I know. Oh, she wears thigh highs too. She also wears garters too. But also, she, because she's so asymmetrical, it's kind of... can be hard to tell. She doesn't wear thigh highs. Ah, so her, you can see she has not fishnets, but fishnet-like th things on the bottom there. And that... Yeah, so I guess with Rosaria, it's meant to be a, a separate layer along with the fishnet. Because they're going for a different color. So she's wearing not just fishnets, but also uh, some sort of sheer stocking along with it. Which makes sense since something like, I don't know, 80% of the female characters in this game wear tights. I don't know, I, I've never counted, but it's crazy how many of them wear tights rather than thigh highs. So she wears thigh highs, tights, tights, oh, thigh highs, tights, thigh highs, tights, tights. Thigh highs, bare legs, thigh highs, bare legs. Eh. Actually, I guess it's not quite that high. Maybe it's just the characters that I happen to play that was so stocking heavy or tights heavy. That must be what it is. It's not that the game has a lot of tights. And it actually has more thigh highs than I thought so yeah i knew amber wore thigh highs and sucrose too but i forgot about fischl and beto and lumine right, but we're going this way oh okay Oh, there's a chest here. I'm glad these chests don't give primo gems, so it doesn't feel like you missed out on a whole lot if you end up missing it. But the Geo Sigil is nice. A little extra free Mora. Oh, no, 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 I'm not high enough. Okay, just barely high enough. Doctor <laughs> Nyozi I wonder if this Abyss Herald is a specific character or if it's a a title like um, like a knight in the Abyss or something 
I get the sense that we're, we keep running into the same guy, but maybe we'll kill him here and then... Oh, we don't get to play as Dane's love. Oh, shame. oh, that was bad. Here, let's get... No, you think it's a title? Okay, yeah, that's the sense kind I get. Okay, so that attack should be fairly easy to counter. I think I countered. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. Here, let's heal Rosario a bit. Nice, got the counter. Oh, wait, are there mobs? Oh, seriously? Fun. Well, at least I got a shield this way. Good. Okay. Oh, nice. But Venti managed to freeze him. Okay. Are the Abyss Mage just dead? I think so. Ooh. Totally just paying attention to that. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh, shit. Maybe we'll have this enemy with other elements? Oh yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah, right now he's all water, isn't he? Yeah, which makes it not too hard to deal with when you have... Ice. Yeah, just get him frozen. Okay. Nah, I should have tried to counter that. Right. Didn't get the timed counter, but it's a counter nonetheless. Rosaria burst really powerful against him? Oh yeah. I found it quite useful. Definitely. I've mainly used it for, I've mainly been using it for well, freezing enemies, of course, but also just the crit rate buff. Oh, oh nice. Got a little cutscene here. Oh, wow. Dane's love. What kind of powers do you have? Uh, and there's my brother. Finally, we get to see him again after after so damn long. Oh, he's the prince. And so what? Lumine. Please don't tell me the protagonist is not going to speak in this scene. That would really really suck if they have Paymon do all the speaking. We've been separated for so long. Hmm. Uh, looks like they're not gonna give Lumine or whoever you play as the protagonist any lines. That sucks. Oh. 
Oh, so that's why he knows so much about Kimia. But how? Oh, okay, he's also immortal. Oh, so that kind of reminds me of Zhao. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty confusing. And yeah, I I think Aether's uh, voice is pretty nice. It would be nice if we could also hear Lumine's voice at the same time. If I played as the male one, I'm sure I could hear Lumine, but you can't hear both at the same scene. Yeah, let's go home. You're my brother. So, and, and also in the, um, in Korean, they specifically call him her opa, which means he's the older brother. But I'm assuming they're twins and he's just older by, you know, a minute or something. Yeah, yours was Lumina. Right, yeah, because you, you play with the male traveler. War with destiny? Ooh, this sounds interesting. I'd love to learn more about the world and see what this sort of darkness exists that caused him to believe that the abyss, or what is it, the abyssal? Oh. Oh wow, Dainsliff made it through, huh? Good for him. <laughs> oh, come on. Should I have chosen the other one? Oh, okay, no. It's just one of these scenes. I was really hoping they wouldn't, like, have Paymon explain what we just saw to me. Well, it looks like she's doing it anyway. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was here. I, I already. Oh, Alright, that's actually a very nice, like, um, it's a nice storyline, or it's a nice chapter, kind of, to this storyline, which gives you a lot of, of, I don't know, not hints, but sort of like, or not clues, clues a synonym for hint, but it gives you some idea of that there's uh, some strange stuff afoot that to look forward to. It answers a few questions, but obviously raises more in a way that, yeah, it works. It, it's not just kind of a... It, it doesn't just leave things mysterious, even though it does do that. It answers some questions. Yeah. Yeah, I did like the story quest. Even though, well, we'll see. Like, I think part of it is whatever comes next will also determine how good this chapter was. Because what follows 
if they have a good payoff, that could be really, yeah, really good. Oh, looks like there's some slimes. Uh, I don't really need slime condensate, but why not? Oh, right, Electro. I wonder if slime... Yeah, slimes probably have a back and a front too, right? Because with Rosaria's E attack, she gets a crit rate buff if you hit the back of the enemy with her E. But that's not always easy to do, especially some enemies she doesn't actually teleport behind them, like Ruin Guards. Alright, I'm gonna spend my resin doing this boss for the EXP books. And then... Actually, I think I've basically done everything I wanted to at this point. Yeah, I might just do some final mining run for, for some rocks that I haven't picked up yet. But then I guess I'll call it a stream after that. EXP for which character? Well, right now, the Chi-Chi and Diluc are the ones that I really want to get books for. But they're currently limit. They're currently locked by Ascension Mats. You can see Diluc. Actually, Diluc's not locked. I could ascend him further if I wanted to, but he's a low priority. Chi-Chi, though, is locked by Ascension Mats. Actually, she might not be. I might be able to. But I'm going to be farming that more anyway, and I'm not in a hurry to level her up. But it's, yeah, it's mainly Chi-Chi. I want to get Chi-Chi up and up to speed, at least up to level 70. Uh, yeah, it'll be nice to get her up to 80 eventually, but not anytime soon. But yeah, it's Chi-Chi and D-Look. But, you know, I figure I'll always need more EXP, and right now the EXP, or the EXP per resin drop rate here is really good so might as well take advantage of it now and the the boss is going away in two days so after that i'll go back to using resin on other things all right well yeah have a good good night and thank you again for coming by yeah sleep well i know it's super late there so get your sleep it's important Far more important than watching some someone play video games. Okay. Oh, nice. I think I got... No, I didn't get the counter on that. Oh, no, I did. Based on the speed, I definitely did. Okay. okay, looks like during phase one, she only ever does a one... Uh, one dash. In phase three, I noticed she does two two dashes and three dashes. I've never seen her do one. I think almost every time I've seen her do two, but she occasionally does a third one. So I have to be careful when I see her do the second one to make sure not to start attacking her too quickly. Oh, no. because if you start attacking her and leave yourself open, she she might end up just. Attacking, hitting you with the third one. Okay, I need some healing, so let's use that. Yeah. I'm sure these water monsters aren't that hard to counter, but I don't feel like learning the counter timing, to be honest. I hate these water monsters so much that I just want to spend as little time with them as, as possible. Freeze. Oh, man, good timing on that. Alright, let's just use that. Okay. Oh, they don't get sucked up by that? What? I thought that would totally suck them up. Feels like it should. Man, Venti needs to work on his sucking skills. He, he could do way better than he is now. I mean, what's he been doing for all these thousands of years? Just getting drunk? I mean, probably, I guess, but... 
Yeah, I guess that's, to be fair, that's probably what I would do if I were the god of wind in the city of freedom. And I felt like I want to just leave humans to their own devices. Yeah, especially a city that's so famous for its wine. Okay, is this guy gonna get out of that corner? I'm afraid I might just run out of time before I can do this. Can I get him to just dash at me here? I think that would be good. Alright, he's off the corner, so it should be a, lo yeah, a little easier to attack now. Oh, what? Why did he get a full heal? They even have that in the boss arena? Why? That's so... That's so dumb! It, I'm, I'm in the middle of a boss fight. Where is he gonna go? Why do they have this sort of in-game logic so that when they get too far away from their base, they go back and do a full heal? I can understand them doing that in the main world, even if I don't like it. But in a goddamn boss fight with one of these mobs? Ah. Here, let's just get rid of this so we can get to the next phase, which should be somewhat quicker. Okay, so Venti's unfortunately not going to do too much damage, but he should be able to manage. Some three points there, and then... Oh. I wonder, what happens if I do that? Do I get the buff? Oh, I think I do get the buff. That's bigger. Yeah, that's definitely bigger than the other hits. Okay, I should use that from now on then. Oh, no. Ah, shit. For some reason, she stopped moving. Oh, is Beto dead? No, she's not. She's close to dead, though. Charge up his burst. Get some healing. So I definitely took a very non-ideal team to this fight, but, you know, I wanted to make the fight a bit more challenging than just using Ganyu. I think before the event is over, I should do a... try to do a speed run, see how fast I can beat it. The fastest I've managed so far is 1 minute 7 seconds using Ganyu, and I feel like I might be able to do it faster, but I'm not sure how. Because I've optimized a lot to get to that one. Basically, phase one did not was not even really a phase. I just brought it down to phase two immediately. Oh no, wrong one. Okay, right, let's go here. Yeah. I still wish they gave Beto a heal. I think a perfect counter having a heal component would just be... incredible. Might make her a little broken though, to be honest. Too self-sufficient. But... I mean, that's why I'd want it. Because it would make her completely self-sufficient. But ultimately, I guess I should just remember that she is a 4-star. And she's one of many, many characters in a gacha game. So I can't expect her to do everything by herself. It's not what she's there to do. Okay, it's there. Okay, it'd be nice to get Bennett's Q up so that I could use it for the buff and everything. But it's proving to be a little difficult. Okay, let's use that. Some healing going. And 
Keep attacking it. We're close to the end. Nice. Beto did well for me there. Uh, I think we're gonna get another... Yeah. One of these. Yeah, almost there. Right, I think, yeah, we're gonna get another one of these. Yeah, I've enjoyed this boss in general. I guess if the only criticism would be it's a little easy. Like, the hardest part is the time limit, to be honest, because it's, you know, you gotta do high DPS and everything. But in terms of dodging her attacks and learning her patterns and all that, a little easy on the easy side, I'd say. But I would much rather prefer this boss than the regular Oceanid boss, I can tell you that. The regular Oceanid boss, with Ganyu, not that hard. With other characters, harder. But regardless of the difficulty, it's just not fun for me. Alright, let's pick up the EXP books, and then, I recall I had some ores to mine. Let's start with this one. And, yeah, after I finish mining the ores, I'll call it a stream. I just need to build amber? Why, why amber? I would love to build amber... ...eventually, just not anytime soon. Oh, right. I don't think Amber will help me that much against the Oceanid. <laughs> That's what you're saying. I actually don't know how well Amber's Baron Bunny works against the Oceanid creatures. Now that I think about it. I wonder if they do a good job of... ...actually attracting their aggro. Yeah, against the Oceanid? I don't know, I think Ganyu is a better choice than Amber, and I already have Ganyu built. Yeah, I haven't fought the proper Oceanid in a while. Oh, big crit damage? Yeah, actually, I think that's how I'd do it if, if when I build Amber. Raise her crit damage a lot, because she is a lot about the charge shots, and with charge shots you can at least sometimes guarantee a crit damage by hitting their weak spots. Yeah, Ganyu is easy mode. Indeed, that's why I don't... I chose not to fight the boss using Ganyu. <laughs> just too easy. But when I'm fighting the Oceanid just for farming the ocean, the Hydro materials, I'm like, I just want to get this over with as fast as possible. Whereas right now, this Oceanid boss, you know, it's an event boss, so I thought it would be fun to try to play it in a variety of ways that would challenge me and also force me to play in some styles that I'm not so used to. But like I said, it would, it would, it might be fun. I don't know to try to set a my own personal time record. I think. I don't know. One minute might be doable. I don't know. Because one minute, seven seconds was barely doable. Improving that by a whole... Greater than 10% would be quite a lot. Imagine if I had Hu Tao and Ganyu, I might be able to pull that off. But that said... Uta or Ganyu does a fine job of taking advantage of the um, opportunities when they're there. Speaking of Amber, she's quite useful against that specific Abyss Mage. Because if you just hang out way up there and throw the Baron Bunny down at the Abyss Mage onto a platform of ice that's next to it, the Abyss Mage will start attacking it. 
And then, while you're up there, you can just hit the Abyss Mage a few times with the arrow. And that'll cause the Abyss Mage to fall right into the water and drown. I've tried it a few times, but since I almost never have Amber in my party, I haven't done it in a while. But it's very satisfying to kill that Abyss Mage without ever giving it a chance to touch you. Because... Obviously, Mihoyu knew what they were doing when they placed an, a cryo, an abyss, cryo Abyss Mage right on top of water next to a common or an ore farming area that you'd be visiting fairly often. They knew what they were doing. So to completely circumvent that and just destroy the enemy while in complete safety, very satisfying. Especially, yeah, with the Abyss Mages, right? Just... Abyss Mages are... Very, can be very annoying to deal with, in general. So it's always satisfying to really crush them. Right. Now, I don't think that... Yeah, there are no mystical ores in this area, but I know there are ores that respawn every day, including in these... places. Which, the iron chunks aren't all that useful, but, because the EXP is still low, but I like to collect them anyway. But they were people, yeah, the Abyss Mages were people too, right? But they're no longer people. And hey, I gotta watch out for myself, right? Ultimately, even though they were people, right now they're... they're they're cunts to me, so I'm pretty happy with destroying them. If they decide to be like regular people and treat me like, you know, like a normal person, then I'll be happy to treat them like a normal person. You know, you could... respect gotta go both ways, right? Personal, um, what is it? Or personal safety and what is it? Self-defense, yes. That's all it is. Whenever I kill Abyss Mages, it, it's just self-defense. It's pretty convenient, really, because literally every enemy in the game is always trying to kill you. A a anyway, at least if they see you. Which means I have a perfect excuse to just kill any one of them anytime I want. It's always self-defense. Isn't that convenient? Okay. There we go. There we go. That abyss mage is gone. Okay. Yeah. I think I got the counter on that one. Yeah, I definitely did. Right, we got rocks there, and now let's head south. Oh, let's... might as well. Here, let's do that, and then that. Oh, Bennett leveled up, sweet! Bennett's level 86 now. His attack buff's gonna be that much better. Same with his heal. Right, let's see if I can do this. Ah, uh, nope. Still... Still failed on that counter. Still one for like 200 now. Trying to counter the damn explosive barrel off my own hit. I really, really wish I took video uh, that I was recording with that one time that I actually did it so that I could go back and watch it and try to get a sense. Uh, maybe there are videos on YouTube actually that I could see on a frame by frame basis. But it's just so frustrating to know that it's possible because I've done it. I did it once, so it's not just one of those things that you hear about people doing. I just I know I've done it, but never pulled it off more than once. Okay, ice is pretty good on this one. Raise the crit rate. Oh no, this and then. 
Oops. Here, let's use that. Okay. I'm glad the Abyss Mage left, because I wasn't sure if it was still alive. And I thought, do I have, am I going to have to go down there to kill it? Well, it left, so it made sure to let me know, yeah. I should go down and kill it. Okay. Uh, the spin to win attack. Absolutely hate it when enemies do it. It's such a terrible attack to face. And such a terrible attack to use, too. Because it's just not that useful when you're using it. Oh, come on, seriously? Hmm. That doesn't work. Maybe I could try charging up Venti's Q and seeing if using his Q will suck up those things up. I don't know if it's worth it. Ah, it's worth it. Q is not all that valuable. You can get it re recharged in no time anyway. So I don't need any more Noctilicus Jades, because I think... Beto is the only character who uses them, and I already have used my Noctilicus Jades enough with her. Okay, I wanted to switch to Bennett. I don't know why it wasn't switching to Bennett, but now it is. There we go. Here. I wonder if every enemy has some sort of hidden hyper armor level where it takes a certain amount of hits before they're knocked off and or before they're stunned or if it's based on some sort of calculation around the character's levels. Oh, it works. Nice. All right. That's how you get uh if you have venti anyway. This game is totally pay to win. If you don't have Venti, you totally lose out on all those va valuable materials. But as long as you pay to get Venti, you can access all these materials that keep falling into the water. Okay, so I think these are the last sets of rocks. Oh, I'll go also go and go to the go to Leeway and start actually forging these rocks because I think I forgot to do that today. I'm. I haven't hit my limit today for the rocks. I can't remember the last day that I didn't hit my limit. It's pretty nice being able to mine so many rocks. Even though it feels bad right now to have... Yeah, oh okay, I have over a thousand. I thought, I think recently I got under a thousand of those at some point. But, yeah, now I'm back to over a thousand, because I was leveling up some weapons for Beto, I think. Actually, I think Beto's weapon right now is level 90. So, yeah, I need to work on Beto's artifacts next, then she'll be a proper good DPS. Or a great one, anyway. But she's already quite good. Let's kill this one on the way. Okay, here, let's use the fire. Here, let's heal Venti a bit. I don't know why he's so hurt. But he is hurt. Alright, broke the shield. Oh, nice. The backstab landed. Nice. Got the counter on that one. That's satisfying. Yeah, I still need to get better on Beto's counter, but I think I've hit a point where I don't 
particularly want to keep practicing it specifically. I'll keep practicing it as I just use her naturally and get better, but I've kind of built up a decent amount of muscle memory and timing skills such that I feel comfortable just using her as a general DPS and using her counter every once in a while as it comes needed. Still need to get better about having her counter ready for a counter because I often am left with a cooldown because the cooldown's not that long but it's long enough that if I that I'm often in the case where I used her E not for a counter but just for electro damage and then there's an enemy attack coming and I just have to dodge it because my counter is not ready. So that's something I still need to get better at when it comes to using Beto. And of course the counter timings specifically, right? For each individual hit. But she's at a, or I'm at a skill level where I'm fairly comfortable. I can actually uh, manage, even though she's not putting up numbers like Ganyu, or even Kaching. Yeah, quite frankly, my Kaching is still more powerful than my Beto. That's partly because of the artifacts, probably probably primarily because of it, but also because I'm not just not as good at using Beto as I am at using Kaching. I think I have a full stack in here to pick up. Yep. Oh, whoops. Okay, you gotta be careful with the timing, I guess. Because in order to quickly go, I press X and then circle. But if you press circle too quickly, it actually registers before the thing opens up. Okay, looks like I've maxed out my ores for today. Nice, I'm at over 1600 now. So it'll be nice to get over 2,000, at which point I'll feel pretty comfortable that I have a good, uh, I don't know, nest egg, uh, not nest egg, good emergency fund, just in case I need a whole lot of EXP. It'll, let's see, I think you can convert something like 140 of those each day, which means you can go almost two weeks, maybe? Something like two weeks? from 2,000 crystal ores to zero without mining a single ore. That's a pretty good feeling. Let me pick these up. It looks like I might have picked some of them up. Not today, but maybe yesterday, less than 24 hours ago. I got the counter. No, I didn't get the counter. Oh, no, I did. Okay, based on the speed, I definitely did. And I don't know if people who, who don't understand Korean can notice, but... It, like, I don't... With the fact that Beidou's Korean voice just makes her sound too old. Hard to say. It's just I know she's supposed to be maybe twenties or thirties, early thirties, or something like that. But she sounds like she's in her fifties, which is yeah, it doesn't really work that well for me. So that's one of the things I don't like about Beto, even though I like her a lot in general. Maybe I should switch to Japanese voice mainly for her because her Japanese voice is quite good. I'm a big fan of... maybe not a big fan, but I am a fan of the voice actress, Koshimi Zoami. I think... to be honest, one of my favorite... Oh no, I did that too early. That one I didn't get a counter, I just... <laughs> yeah. I pressed E way too early on that. Yeah, one, one of my favorite roles for um, Koshimi Zoami, who I don't think... gets enough recognition is what's her name the girl from persona 4 black haired girl it was one of her first main roles that i really noticed anyway she might have had more main roles beforehand but the yukiko yeah amagi yukiko that was her name 
that was a good role and very much unlike somebody like Beidou or Ry Matoi Ryuko because Yu Yukiko is kind of a very feminine girl although she her has some um, less feminine qualities as well but yeah generally she's Kind of a super feminine girl, whereas someone like Ryuko or Beto, obviously, they're, they're not. But anyway, I think I've done all I wanted to do on Genshin today, so I think I'll call it a stream. Probably won't be streaming tomorrow or, yeah, anytime this week until maybe Friday, probably, but we'll see, depending on how events line up. I, I do want to do some FGO. Challenge quest and such, but that won't be for a while yet, probably next week. Yeah, so I'll call it a stream now. And just like what Beto just said in Korean, nothing like a cold beer after a hard day's excuse me, work. Now, I'm not gonna have a cold beer, and I didn't really put in that much of a hard day's work. But I think Beto is right about that, in any case. There's nothing quite like that. So, I think this is a good time to end the stream. Thank you everyone for coming, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.